Yeah. Heck, man. Freaking pickers ain't got nothing on me, man. Resellers, thrifties, auction junkies, trash pickers, dumpster divers. Then to me, we're just all a bunch of junkies, dude. Obviously, holy crap, man. So, uh, out here. And if you go, if you're subbed over my other channel, over to Idaho Hillbilly, you can check it out too. I was showing some stuff out here yesterday, kind of talking about what, uh, talking about what, um, sorry dude, I get sidetracked, man, you start going, dude, I am very somewhat junk out here. Um, I was talking about what I was doing out here and stuff, I was talking about opening up this. I got the metal pulled down, and then I'm going to put a header and stuff in there to support the lean to and uh, keep a doorway through there. I don't even know if you can see it through there again. There you go. But uh, so now what I'm doing is I got this old bench here. This thing came out of a very old barn. It's made out of uh, true rough cut two by sixes, and it's got some big old two by. Uh, well, what two by twelves or something up on top. And that came out of a very old barn that I tore down. I'm gonna try to get it cleared off, and I'm probably gonna move it over so that I can flow on through here. <laughs> but, uh, so I'm out here going through some stuff, um, and as always, man, not everything. But if you see some stuff in the background or you see some stuff, I'm not gonna do a little cell table today, but. Always, man, anything and dang near everything is uh, for sale. Man, I got a whole mess of stuff in here. Get, uh, um, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> Sorry, man. <laughs> you think I'm a uh, scattered brain when I'm just talking, man? Put a bunch of junk in front of me, dude. Then I really go, we'll probably change your... Uh, Direction. Keep watching. You might just see me trip over something and fall on my butt. But, uh, and then that table that I did, I think it was in the last video. You know, man, trying to run and juggle both channels is dang near overwhelming. And then, uh, I kind of fell off and got behind last week and got behind on, uh, Getting videos on first thing in the morning today. We got one scheduled that I actually have a Miss Kitty's cooking video tomorrow overnight over the hillbilly tomorrow morning. And um Yeah man. Also I just wanted to get on here and talk about talk about junking. So as I was saying is I'm going to work on clearing this stuff out and then I want to I've got this kind of hooked to that them lodge poles there, but I'm gonna put it over you, know, you can see, but over towards the toolbox. So I'm gonna clear all this stuff out here, man. We'll give you, we'll give you a gander. <laughs> then I had people, because I was showing this stuff on the other channel. <laughs> That's the pile that I'm going through now. And then what I'm doing on this table is right now, and I started throwing other stuff on, but I want to put just stuff that's gonna be on eBay and MountainJunkers.com on this table. As I go through, but right now, you know, you got boxes and you know, tons of tons of things to go through. So I'm kind of using it for that too, man. Bunch of old 78s. So I can see what some of those, some of them. Oh, in this pot, man. Remember, I was telling you because I showed that one navy. I don't know if you can make that out right there, but that's a USN. Navy right there and this is identical Katie's got our original one that we use for years and years and I'd forgot I'd scored another one I just don't have a lid so that'll be on somewhere that'll be on somewhere man here in the near dang future this is the bench it's the old true 
rough cut so I'm gonna move it so I'm clearing it off and then I'm clearing that out and I got to go through all these bins and so many of these bins are just full. Sorry, man. I had some technical difficulties. <laughs> um, I don't even know what I'm saying, dude. Well, that's a cool old, uh, that's an old, dude, that. old cigarette car lighter. Or, yeah. Oh, you can't even see the color. It's too damn dark in here. So the thing tried to brighten it up. That was one reason I wanted to get that. That wall pulled out of there. But then I have boxes that have just deteriorated. You know, this, uh, man, like that stuff out of the, that one barn. That barn was the first barn I tore down um, probably six years ago. So, I mean, this stuff, you know, and then it just accumulated. And this is also the shop, and I've talked about it before, is over there on that side. Um, I had that whole bench, man. It was all... You know, fairly organized and everything and it's where I'd come bring the boxes in and kind of go through them and then on that side over there I actually had a workbench you know it was just kind of the little shop thing like I said this was the first structure I put up on the after we this is after we got the vagabond I kind of turned this in and I actually built that lean-to over there and had the blacksmithy shop had the forge under here so then I had it all set up like that. And if you remember, if you watch our other channel and you've watched for a long time, you remember my goats, Nick and Knack. You know, kind of Nick and Knack, you know, <laughs> kind of goes along with the gentleman. But uh, Nick and Knack, um, love them, man. They were my pals. But them little mothers got in here, and I came in, and Nick's up on the that bench, and Nax over there, man, and they found my seeds, and they found, man, they, that's actually how that picture that I showed in yesterday's video of me and Kitty, I mean, dude, they, they ate my pictures, man, they ate pictures, they ate all my seeds, they ate all my grass seed, and I mean, this place, you know, obviously it looked different than it does now, but, um, but it was in just, just, just rubbles, man, so I kind of just put it all aside and stuff, and, then I just started, you know, stacking, you know, to get stuff out of the weather. Just started piling stuff in here for the last, probably the last five years or something like that. And then, um, you know, if you're new to the channel or whatever, welcome to the channel. But, uh, and then the bear, we had a bear come in and actually killed Nick and Nack. I miss them boys. All right, so, um, well, the, well, what the heck is that, man? And there's some, you know, man, I go through it, I'm like, holy crap. Just go through some of this stuff. I'm like, well, I'm to open it now, it's all in disarray. Um, you go through this stuff, I mean, man, there's, you know, and to a lot of people, if you're watching this channel, then, you know, you're probably in the junk and a resale business, so you, uh, or, you know, or just a hoarder, one or the other, you, uh, Look around at all this junk, you know, a lot of people, oh my lord, clean all that crap up. And, it to me, man, it's just all money. I don't like how unorganized and crazy it is in here right now, but, uh, I'm going to wear my mask now, because we're going to go diving for, diving for rusty gold this summer, man. Um, so, man, this is what, uh, this is what I'm doing today. So I'm going to keep working along cleaning this up. You know, one, one thing, and I said I was going to mention that on this channel, too. We had an experience. And if you watch my other channel, you already heard about this and stuff like that. But I just want to uh, put this out there again about, uh, Rose City Antiques on, uh, eBay. Had this postcard. Miss Kitty had found this postcard because we'd found this little spoon of why he motel down downtown Boise, man. So she's looking and researching that, and you know we collect postcards, especially old Idaho ones. And uh, well, I like all postcards. Um, so anyway, she finds this old postcard, man. It's from like 1913 or something like that, and it's the why he motel, and it was like three dollars plus shipping, so it was like a little over five bucks shipped. So, man, she, I was all, man, you should just buy that. And she should have just bought it. So, the next day, 
um, yesterday we get up or you know getting them out here working and stuff and I go in for a cup of coffee and uh, Miss Kitty says babe come here man you gotta look at this so I go over to her desk there and she's oh look at this they just sent us one of them offers that I'd talked about before you know where you send out if you have a watcher if you're a seller on eBay and you have watchers you'll get this little deal and you can send them watchers offers you know so I've got this thing watched for a little over five bucks. Well, she sends us an offer. Oh, man. She sends us an offer, and it raised the price to 10 bucks plus shipping, but then she gave us 30% off. So then it was like I could have bought it the day before for a uh, five, little over five bucks ship, but now it was going to be like seven bucks or six ninety nine or something plus shipping. That is bad business practices. When somebody is and, oh, and then we got uh, that was the other thing. So then we you know I emailed her or we emailed her and told her uh hey man that uh it's not very good uh business practice when somebody you know makes an offer and stuff and told her but you, but you did just make a YouTube video, make it onto a YouTube video and she uh so, you know writes us back and stuff and tells me uh um, it is in high demand it has four watchers so that's why I raised the price and now I have blocked you <laughs> all right I already told this story I ain't gonna get all crazy about it but I just wanted to touch on that and if you're a reseller man you're a reseller and somebody's watching your stuff I was gonna buy it <laughs> you know I don't care if it's five bucks or fifty bucks but if somebody's watching your stuff and they really are interested in it um, you know unless it's on sale you know and the price went up from you know the sale ended or something but you don't raise the price on somebody that's watching this stuff they're thinking about it you know to see if they really want to buy it at the that price you don't raise the price on them to someone some people's thinking and stuff is just over the damn top, man. Oh, I'm just babbling in here. So, uh, yeah, man. <laughs> a tomahawk handle. Oh, man, that's off my old, I sold my old uh, throwing hawk. And a hand forged one I picked up years ago. I wish I wouldn't have sold it. I do that a lot, too, to sell something and think, damn, I wish I wouldn't have sold it. But I had that old uh, throwing hawk, man. I got it at a rendezvous, man, probably 25 or 30 years ago. Old boy hand forged it out, an older guy. And uh, he did end up getting like, I don't know, 75 or 100 bucks for it. But uh, I wish I wouldn't have sold it. Because I loved it. Look at that now. I've got a whole bunch of an old damper, man. Something else. I don't know if they're worth it, man. We used to, I used to be able to sell the old uh, dampers for big bucks. They got a bunch of these stoves. Remember, I just found another one of these it's out there. And it's funny because in this business, and if you've been in it, man, especially when you've been in it for a long time, the stuff how it goes up and down, up and down, and oh, that's the silver right there. Knife and that end of that silver. Sterling. So, uh, anyway, so you'll, you know, you pay attention, man. And, you know, in the market, it's just like the stock market, man, up and down like this. And we just found a, you know, some boxes, some stuff that I'd not listed because, you know, it was down. And then I'd put it out here and uh, looked it up. It's got some glassware and some other stuff in it. And Miss Kitty's actually in there taking pictures man because it's back up so I mean it just turns all the time so if it's something good and the money ain't there you could just hold off because it might be good later but uh yeah so <laughs> I'm telling you man I don't think you want to just watch and I've got to get busy because I've got to clear this crap off hello miss kitty Oh, is it right done? I don't know. I'll be in.
I shall be in this picture. BB gun stock. Oh, there's a whole, there's a whole dang bunch of parts for no. I haven't seen that in years. <laughs> now I'm back out on this other side. Oh man, dude. Like that is a bummer. Oh, I hope they're not pictures of me and my kids. And 1969. Oh, dude. Oh, man. A bunch of old pictures, not our. I thought maybe somehow our pictures have got in, but it was some other. Uh, oh, it's a bummer. That's one of the problems with the uh, barn finds. I'm buying junk. This is, uh, I, don't know where these, I don't know where these came from, but man, these are old wedding pictures from 1969. But see, they are. It is done. Done, done. Alright, so I think I'm going to keep checking with this. I just want to do uh, another dinner for me, knife. Oh. You know, one of these bands got the magnifying glass. I actually just picked one up at a jump shop. I'll just show you it later, man. It's actually a roll around like for a dentist or a doctor. It's on the stand. Stands up like this, man. And it's got the extension arm and stuff. You can just roll it around. Can't wait to can't wait to use that. But anyway, man, I'm gonna go ahead and give me some eat me some oatmeal. I download this. I just hadn't put a video on for a day or two or a day or something. So I wanted to get something out there for y'all. This is what, uh, this has been life of a joker right here. So I'm digging through all this and working on getting all this, uh, organized. What are these, man? These are cool. I've got a whole stack of these now. I'll put these probably on, um, mountainjunkers.com this man it screws in and you actually put that over the doorknob for an extra safety latch you know on your door at your house or whatever Got a whole pile of those pretty cool all right that's enough dude so, all right man so make sure you go over and check out the mountainjunkers.com make sure you go over and check out Idaho Hillbilly and check out the links below our eBay store and everything putting Bunch more stuff on there all the time. And then I didn't talk about the dang weather, man. It snowed for over, uh, I think it was 27 or 28 hours straight. We ended up getting after, man, I had the road, my road out of here was clear. It was all beautiful, all this stuff. And I had all these plans to go junk in, you know. And then I ended up the, throwing the tread on the green bean. But it's just going to pull another tire out here to get me by until I get out and until I get one ordered in, and um, right now you ain't, going, you ain't going out of here in the green bean, man, got another six inches, the road's completely covered again, so I can get out in the beast, but eh, that's it. <laughs> all right, man, that's just a little check-in, hope y'all are doing well out there on this cold winter day, and always remember, man, keep your eye on the skyline and your nose to the wind. If you're out there treasure hunting or digging through your pile of junk, I hope you find some color in the bottom of your pan. See ya.